What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today we are doing a battle of the bow sights where we put the Spot Hog triple stack up against the black gold dual track. Now both of these sights do have some similarities and differences and we're going to break those down into four different types of categories and each one of those categories is going to have a scoring system uh, that each one of these sights can achieve. Now at the end of this video uh, one of these sights will walk away as the winner for having the better overall design so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for our first category, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna knock out what these sites actually share in common. Now, as I already mentioned, both of these sites are slider sites, so they give you the ability to shoot long distance if you prefer. Now, they're also both constructed of 6061 aluminum, so they're gonna be very, very durable. Now, both of these sites do have a vertical pin design. Both of them have micro adjustability windage from left to right, and one of the biggest selling points that I always look for in a site is the ability to have a first, second, and third axis adjustment which again both of these sites have now in addition to that both of these sites are going to come with some of the brightest pins uh, that are available on the market so being that these sites share those things in common we're going to give six points to the black gold and six points to the spot hog right off of the bat so for our second category, we're talking about the site construction. And the first thing that I want to point out is the pin configuration. So obviously with the Spot Hog triple stack, you are going to get three pins that are fully micro adjustable. Uh, whereas the black gold dual track, you're only going to have two pins. And that bottom pin is the only one that is truly micro adjustable. Uh, if you want to sight in that top pin, you actually have to micro adjust the housing up or down. Uh, and being that I'm a huge advocate for three pin sites, I'm going to give a personal preference point over to the Spot Hog. Uh, just due to the fact that they give you those three yardage indicators, I think that that is ideal for most hunting situations if you're in the whitetail woods or if you're out west doing uh, elk hunting. Now the second topic that I want to talk about uh, is being that both of these sites are slider sites. They both have their unique design on how you're going to actually roll that site down. Now if I take a look at the Spot Hog site first, what I really like about this uh, is they give you this very large texturized wheel so you don't have to worry about your fingers slipping off this. If you're hunting in wet or humid conditions and what I also really like about their design is you can turn this site from top to bottom with basically one motion of that wheel uh, that whole process to get that site down it flows very smoothly it doesn't require a lot of effort whereas if I compare that to the black gold site um, they offer you same thing a texturized wheel but the wheel is significantly smaller and to get it down all the way it is going to take multiple turns now the one thing that I really like about the spot hog is like I said that that whole motion is very fluid uh, where the black gold site does require a little bit more effort so I'm going to give another point over to the spot hog site for their roller wheel design and the fluidness of how that thing moves. Now both of these sites do offer a lockout lever when you are not shooting long range. But what I really like about the, the black gold design is the fact that their lever is located on the left side of the site. It's a very small lever and if you want you can shoot this site with that unlocked. Whereas if I compare that over to the, the Spot Hog site, their lever is actually substantially larger. It's located on the right side of the site and right under that roller wheel. Now what I don't like about this design is if you have this in the unlocked position, um, this thing is going to constantly bounce off of that roller wheel and make that annoying click. So if you forget to lock this and you're hiking, you're going to hear that clicking. And if you also, if you leave it unlocked and then you shoot your bow, um, that lever is going to smack up against that roller wheel. So just being that the black gold has a little bit of a nicer design in that regards, I'm going to give the black gold a point on that. So both of these sites are going to be a direct mount to the side of your riser. Uh, this is a fast eddy uh, and this is the black gold dual track with the Pro X uh, bracket. Uh, what I like about the black gold is that they're actually going to give you three different mounting locations. So if you want to pull this bow sight closer to the riser or farther from the riser, you have that ability to. Uh, you have these three different mounting holes and then you have one quiver mounting hole. Uh, whereas if I compare that to the, the Spot Hog site, for whatever reason, they only give you one mounting hole and then the other two are two different locations for you to mount your quiver. I don't know why you need so many options for a quiver mount, uh, but being that the uh, black gold has more adjustability uh, right out of the box to bring this closer or further away from the riser, I'm gonna give another point over to the black gold site. 
So for our next category, we're strictly talking about sliding uh, and being that both of these are slider sights, they're both gonna come with a wide variety of sight tapes that you can choose from. Now, again, coming off of experience with the black gold, um, all of their sight tapes are gonna be based off of your bow speed. Now, to get a reference point, what you need to do is you need to shoot your bow through a conograph, get a speed, and then from there, you're gonna reference your sight tapes and pick which one is closest. Now, in my experience, it's always plus or minus three sight tapes, uh, so you pick the closest one, slap it on, uh, and then you have to basically go through a verification process. As I mentioned, it's never accurate, so then you're gonna have to go back uh, and then reference what your actual yardages were to those sight tapes, and then from there pick your sight tape out but if I compare that to the spot hog site uh, their site and process is a lot more user friendly so they actually offer a calibration tape now to cite that calibration tape in you're basically going to shoot your top pin in at 20 walk that top pin out at 60 and then that calibration tape will give you a number which will correlate over to your sight tapes and then from there you just basically go ahead and slap it on so like I said in that regards uh, the spot hog is definitely more user friendly uh, when getting sighted in when compared to the black gold so I'm giving another point over to the spot hog. Now as far as like sight tape location goes, uh, the black gold is going to have you mount your sight tape on the left side of this sight if you're a right-handed shooter, and the spot hog is going to have you mount it on the right side of this sight if you're a right-handed shooter. Now what I don't like about the spot hog is if you are at full draw and you need to quickly reference your other yardage indicators there's a good chance that your quiver is going to impede your ability to see that sight tape clearly whereas with the black gold in their location you could come off of the string and you'll have a clear line of sight at that sight tape and be able to quickly reference your second pin uh, and where that yardage is if you needed to make a quick adjustment in a hunting situation so for the so for the sight tape location i'm giving another point over to the black gold site now for our next category, we're strictly talking about micro adjustability. As I mentioned, both of these sites have a micro adjustable housing for windage left to right. Now looking at the design of the black gold, what I really like about this is they give you a bunch of indicator lines, whereas the spot hog does not. So what's nice about this is once you get this site completely dialed in, you could take a picture of this and save that picture that you could re so you could reference back to that at a later date. So for example, if I'm traveling out west, uh, and I want to check to see if my site accidentally bumped, I could take a look at that picture, look back at my site, and quickly realize if that housing had shifted at all through travel. Now with the spot hog, you do not have that ability because they do not give you those indicator lines. And another thing that I really like about the black gold is they give you a direction on which way you need to drive that screw to move that housing left or right. Whereas the spot hog, they do not give you any of those indicator lines. So again, I'm giving another point over to the black gold site. Now, both of these sites do include a locking lever to lock out that windage adjustment. And when looking at the spot hog, uh, they decided to use this really beefy lever. Now, what I do not like about this lever, if you're walking through some very dense areas in the woods or like a pretty brushy area and you happen to bump that lever, um, it's going to unlock that site and then now your site housing is just rattling the entire time whereas the black gold site they just use a standard allen screw uh, with a locking washer so for the set it and forget it kind of design i'm giving another point over to black gold the next topic that i want to talk about is the third axis adjustment on both of these sites uh, the black gold is truly a micro adjustable third axis site where the spot hog is not now what i really like about the the black gold is that you would be able to set this up on your bow you would be able able to shoot this third axis in where you're not going to have that ability on this spot hog. So I'm going to give another point over to the black gold site. So for our next category, we're talking about the size of the site housing. And as I mentioned, I have shot black gold sites before in the past. And one of the things that I have experienced uh, definitely with running a smaller peep is that I struggle with seeing out of that small site housing uh, in a low light situation. And that was one of the main reasons why I bought the triple stack is because it has that huge site housing. Housing, you have that wide open field of view um, and I felt like that that was going to come clutch in a hunting situation. However, after trying this 
site out. Um, this massive housing and that massive site picture comes at a cost and that cost is weight. Now for me and not being able to move this site closer to the riser to reduce the weight of my bow, uh, in my setup, in my experience, I was constantly fighting pin drop when trying to run uh, the Spot Hog triple stack. Now this site is significantly heavier uh, than the dual track. So in that regards, I'm going to have to give another bonus point over to the black gold, uh, which is ultimately putting the black gold site uh, in the lead for this race with a total of 13 points versus the Spot Hog. But overall, I think these are both outstanding sites. Uh, I feel like you just got to try them both out to figure out which one is going to be best for you. But hopefully through this video and talking about the differences uh, and similarities between these two sites, you guys will be able to make a more educated buying decision and you don't have to buy both like I did. So if you guys have not checked out Sunrise Archery, give them a call. They have both of these sites that are available in stock. And then also, if you guys have not subscribed, please do so uh, your guys support greatly helps us out and then also we do have some merch some new merch that hit the website recently these are brand new uh, our premium patch design uh, these are leather and they're on Richardson hats all the hats we sell are Richardson's uh, but make sure you guys go and check those out uh, this is basically the p112 design so they're bent brimmed so we're not getting any of the flat bills in this design uh, for the website but make sure you guys go check that out your guys' purchases of our merch greatly supports this channel keeps us doing what we're doing and until next time stay safe stay healthy we'll see you on the next one i'm in the big leagues